Tonight at 5, some closure for the family of Natalie Holloway after the chief sucked in her death admits to killing the teen back in 2005. Plus, you may have noticed your health care costs are rising. Our Catherine Merck breaks down the numbers. And big changes are coming to the Ice Age Trail. A closer look at the new plan to expand it. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for staying with us at 5, everyone. If you're paying more for health insurance, you are not alone. The annual cost of family health insurance coverage through work soared to an average of nearly $24,000 this year. Well, that's according to a survey released today. Catherine Merck sat down with an expert to talk about what the price means for your family and for your wallet, Catherine. The professor at UW-Madison I spoke with today told me that the results of this survey mean that workers and their employers are paying a lot more for job-based health insurance. Here's how the numbers shape out. The Kaiser Family Foundation found out employees are shelling out an average of over $6,500 for their share of a premium, up almost $500 or close to 8% from last year. For single coverage, the average annual premium rose to nearly $850,000. That's also up 7% from last year. Workers are picking up just over 1400 of the tab, about $75 more than last year. For many families in Wisconsin, extra money paying these bills means less that you can spend on other things. As costs continue to rise, it means that people aren't able to take care of their care in all the holistic ways you need to. If you can't balance your budget because your health care expenses are high, right? You can't spend as much at the grocery store. You can't pick an affordable daycare center, right? It's all connected. As a result of this, that could mean a lot of people might have difficulties choosing to pay for health insurance. This professor is urging people to continue to prioritize it through options out there to help folks afford it. We do have covering Wisconsin in this state that helps people with, um, with applying for insurance. And so, um, it may be a natural response to try to cut costs. And um, one of the things that's important about insurance is if someone has a devastating um, injury or illness, right, it really covers um, significant costs. Additionally, large employers with workers in more than one state may face challenges in offering abortion coverage after the Supreme Court's 2022 decision that ended the federal constitutional right to an abortion. Multiple states have adopted laws that prohibit or restrict abortion access. The Kaiser Family Foundation did not ask those questions related to abortion on prior surveys. Catherine, thank you. To weather now, we could see some showers tonight and clouds rolling in across the area. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti is on the weather patio with the latest. Gary? Susan, we had some sunshine this morning, but the clouds have rolled in and we've seen some showers this afternoon on visible cloud track. You can see how that morning sunshine gave way to clouds coming in from the west during the afternoon hours, but not everybody has seen the showers. Uh, right now, we're still seeing showers uh, east of Janesville. It's been raining pretty steadily there for the last couple of hours. Those showers now heading up toward Jefferson and more toward uh, Waukesha in Waukesha County, north and east of Madison. Uh, the showers now uh, east of Beaver Dam and moving into uh, the Fox Valley. West of Madison, not seeing much in the way of rain so far. Uh, six hour future track radar shows the best chances for rain closer to Lake Michigan. Can't rule out a spotty shower in a few spots, so the rain chances do go down this evening. Low temperatures this morning, 47 in Madison. Most areas were in the lower to middle 40s, few places in the upper 40s. Certainly an improvement over uh, last night. And then uh, current temperatures are mainly around 60 degrees. A lot of it depends on whether you're getting some sunshine, like out west. Temperatures in the mid-60s there here in Dane County. More cloud cover. Temperatures closer to 60, including 61 in Oregon, 61 in McFarland, and 60 in Sun Prairie. Look for mostly cloudy skies this evening. to start seeing some breaks in the overcast later on. Temperatures dropping to the middle 40, uh, 50s, and we can't rule out an isolated shower. Later on, I'll take a look at our chances for rain over the next couple of days and how much we can expect when you total it all up. Thank you, Gary. The struggle continues to elect a House Speaker as we move closer to a new deadline to avoid another government shutdown. Earlier today, House leaders held another round of voting to elect Ohio Representative Jim Jordan, but he actually lost some GOP support. Jordan says he doesn't plan to drop out of the race and is looking to win over the Republicans who don't currently support him. I already proven I can get from the most conservative members of the conference to the more moderate members of the conference. So, got a uh, whole cross section of the conference. It's important that we get the last uh, last few. Jordan can only afford to lose four votes and needs to reach 
217 needed to win. Some are calling for the Speaker pro tem, Patrick McHenry, to be made temporary speaker and push this contentious election to a later date. Israeli officials will allow limited amounts of humanitarian aid to Palestinian civilians in the Gaza Strip. Following a request from President Biden, a warning some of the video we're about to show you is disturbing. The president's trip was complicated by an explosion at a Gaza hospital. During his remarks, President Biden said he was going to ask Congress for a support package for Israel's defense. He also announced $100 million of new U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance in both Gaza and the West Bank. The vast majority of Palestinians are not Hamas. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. The president says his top priority is the safe return of hostages kidnapped by Hamas. In Illinois, a vigil was held for a Palestinian American boy who was stabbed to death in a hate crime. Family, friends and the Muslim community gathered last night to pay their respects to six-year-old Wadi al al uh, Aliou Fume. According to authorities, he was stabbed 26 times on Saturday by his family's landlord because he was Muslim. His mother was also stabbed more than a dozen times but survived. Authorities believe they were targeted. The 71 year old suspect is charged with murder and hate crimes, among other charges. New at five, an initial court appearance for a man accused of bringing a gun to the Capitol and asking for the governor has been rescheduled to tomorrow. 43-year-old Joshua Plesnick was booked into the Dane County Jail late last night. He was arrested for a violation of the state's concealed carry law. Plesnick was arrested on October 4th for carrying a loaded handgun into the Capitol without having a concealed carry permit. He was then bailed out of jail and returned with an assault-style rifle before being taken into protective custody. Yesterday, he was released from custody and then arrested by Capitol Police for the weapons violation. Plesnick is now prohibited from having a gun and returning to the Capitol building. A number of officials Governor Evers appointed to different government agencies woke up without a job this morning. That's after Republicans in the state Senate voted to fire many of them during a floor session yesterday. Political reporter Will Keneally spoke to some of them and he joins us now with more live from the state Capitol. Will? Well, Susan and Brady, these aren't big political names, even for self-admitted political nerds like myself, but these are key figures to help get the government going. Uh, for example, more than half the board that oversees the Department of Natural Resources was fired yesterday, and that actually stopped their work for a short time. But some of the officials that we spoke to say that this just can have a lasting effect. I think it's going to discourage qualified people willing to volunteer their time to serve the people of the state of Wisconsin in this capacity. That's Joe Sarnecki. Up until yesterday, he was one of the six-member board that oversees elections in Wisconsin. The only objection that was voiced at the public hearing or uh, on the floor uh, of the Senate yesterday was my abstaining on the vote to reappoint Megan Wolf. Sarneski opted over the summer to keep the existing administrator for his agency in place. But that was enough for the state Senate to reject his confirmation. And he was not alone. When I offered my testimony in front of the committee, I, nobody had any questions for me. Nobody raised any concerns at that public meeting. Um, in a private meeting I had with a senator, however, he did uh, take offense with some of my tweets uh, where I called out, racism and homophobia and misogyny. Melissa Baldoff was Governor Evers' former deputy chief of staff, appointed to serve another term on the Council on Domestic Abuse. That's why I was appointed to serve uh, as a governor's appointee on this council is because I am a survivor of domestic violence. I think it just kind of is a another proof point of how how disorganized and unwilling to govern that this Republican Party is. This is not the first time that the Republican-controlled state Senate has rejected Evers' appointees, but Baldoff says that this is different. When I worked for Governor Evers, most notably with them rejecting uh, Brad Paff, who's you know now uh, now their colleague, um, and you know we've seen some of this before, and I think it just keeps getting worse and worse. So now the governor can fill those vacancies when they come up. And for example, he has done so for the Wisconsin Elections Commission. They can serve essentially on an interim basis until the state Senate either votes to confirm them or, as we saw yesterday, vote to fire them. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.
Well, thank you. New at five, a group of Democratic lawmakers today introduced a package of bills geared toward renters in Wisconsin. The legislation would create protections so renters would not be discriminated against because of citizenship. The bills also provide a grant for legal services for tenants facing eviction. I acknowledge that there are many more landlords on the other side of the aisle uh, and many more renters on the Democratic side. That doesn't mean that we can't work together to solve these problems. The bills are circulating right now and are expected to be introduced next month. Democratic lawmakers say they are confident they can work with Republicans across the aisle to pass the package. We're just more than a month away from the biggest travel day of the year. And if you haven't bought your airfare yet, well, you might want to keep your travel options open. A report from Lending Tree shows last quarter, Dane County Regional Airport was the most expensive airport to fly from domestically in the country. And recent numbers from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics reveal the average airfare for this quarter has increased again. This is following a trend people in South Central Wisconsin might not like. Lending Tree says Dane County Regional Airport prices increased at the fifth highest rate in the country from last year to this year. This number is high in comparison to Milwaukee and Chicago, which have 31st and 32nd highest price increases. But all three had a higher increase than the national average. Well, hikers on the Ice Age Trail will soon have a new route to follow. Right now, more than 100 volunteers are clearing the way for the path. Our Kyle Pazorski met up with them today and shares the reason for the new trail. Kyle? Currently, hikers on the Ice Age Trail have to you walk along Old Sock Pass, connecting from one segment of the National Trail to another. It's obviously not ideal. So today through Sunday, a group of more than 100 volunteers are using all types of tools to clear the way for a new trail. The group I talked with is very passionate about the more than 1,200 mile route. One of the volunteers I spoke with tells me that the reason he got involved is that there's always something new he sees while hiking and hopes others will enjoy the trail he helped to make. You always see something different. Uh, there's always a different perspective every time you're out. and. Uh, different plants or you know and it's even you do out and back hike you see one thing going one way and you totally missed that and you see something on the way back that you totally didn't see and that's really really fun that way gary is a local from cross plains but there are volunteers who come from all over to help out including a few who traveled from chicago officials with the ice age trail alliance say the creation of the three miles they're putting in has been in the works for roughly 20 years is done through partnership with the trail alliance National Park Service and State DNR. Kyle, thank you. Next at 5, Gary is back with our complete forecast. Plus some possible closure for the family of Natalie Holloway decades after her murder. The long-suspected killer has finally confessed. And a quick look at stocks. The Dow lost 332 points, NASDAQ lost 219, and the S&P 500 lost 58. We'll be right back. You're the people who make junk disappear? We brought a whole truckload of magic. What is your junk? I love you. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. If you are like most South Central Wisconsin homeowners, your home is your largest and most important investment. A new kitchen or bathroom from Mad City will not only provide a facelift to your home's interior, it will increase the value of your home. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted interior remodeling expert, specializing in modern kitchen cabinet refacing and custom walk-in shower solutions. Avoid lengthy renovations. Your project will only take days, not weeks. But that's not the only reason to act now. During our 60-60-60 sale, you'll save with 60% off installation of a new bath, shower, or a kitchen cabinet refacing project. With 60 months, 0% interest, senior and military discounts, Plus, call during this program to receive a free $60 Amazon gift card with in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Elevate your savings at the Century House. Right now, buy stressless recliners, sofas, and office chairs and earn up to $1,500 credit toward the purchase of additional stressless furniture. Or receive $400 off the purchase of any stressless signature base or cross-base recliner in Ottoman. Don't wait. Shop the Century House. 
3420 University Avenue in Madison. Save on your next paint project with 11% off everything at Menards. Style your home with Ultra Interior Paint and Primer with a smooth finish that provides great coverage. Pick up a gallon starting at just $19.29 after rebate. For a paint that covers in one color, choose Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint. It's a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 701 coat colors. Now $32.89 per gallon after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. You're the people who make junk disappear? We brought a whole truckload of magic. <laughs> when I heard it got junk, I love you. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. A local resident was tricked into giving away $8,000 in Bitcoin. Learn how they were deceived in this phone scam and what the police recommend doing. Then Wisconsin's Ice Age Trail is expanding. Find out what new sites this hike has to offer tonight at 6. Thursday at 10. I'm taking you behind the scenes for a fascinating look at how scientists track COVID in our wastewater. Wastewater actually tells us a really great story. The Signal in the Sewer, Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. New tonight, the chief suspect in the death of Natalie Holloway has admitted to killing the teen back in 2005. Michael George has the latest in the case that has haunted the victim's family for nearly two decades. Natalie Holloway's mother says her family's 18-year nightmare has finally ended. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. It's over. Yaron Vandersloot is no longer the suspect in my daughter's murder. He is the killer. In an Alabama courtroom, the Dutch citizen Joran van der Sloot admitted to killing Holloway in 2005 and disposing of her remains. The 18-year-old disappeared on a high school graduation trip to Aruba. She was last seen leaving a bar with van der Sloot, but her body was never found. He described when and how he killed her. He said that after killing her on the beach in Aruba, he put her into the water. And that was the last that he ever saw her. Vandersloat's admission came as part of a plea deal in the family's home state, where the 36-year-old was being sentenced for trying to extort Holloway's mother. He was not charged in Natalie's death, but prosecutors hoped his admission would bring the family peace. I hope today is not just about this sentence. I hope it's about healing, about finding peace, knowing they did everything they could for their daughter and their sister. The judge said Vandersloat's confession was part of her sentencing decision, 20 years in prison. The Holloways say the wheels of justice are finally turning. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Vandersloat is already serving a 28-year prison sentence in Peru for killing another young woman in 2010. As Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues, researchers at Johns Hopkins are studying a possible link between alcohol and breast cancer. The American Cancer Society says women who have one alcoholic drink a day have a 7 to 10 percent increase in cancer risk. If you drink up to three drinks a day, that risk increases 20 percent. And while cancer prevention guidelines say it's best not to drink alcohol at all, it's recommended women limit their intake to no more than one drink a day. Be mindful of how much you drink and how often. I want to raise awareness for my daughter and for other women just to know that this is one thing that we can change. Scientists say younger women may be especially vulnerable because breast tissue is most sensitive to environmental exposures from the start of menstruation to first pregnancy. Doctors say one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. If you're due for a mammogram, the Wisconsin Well Woman Program would like to help. They're offering free breast cancer screenings for women with limited income and little to no insurance. For more information, visit the organization's website at dhs.wisconsin.gov slash WWWP.
And Gary is back now with our first Warren forecast. We had some sunshine, a few raindrops, a little bit of everything today. Yeah, the rain now is primarily east of Madison. You can see some showers around Edgerton and Dane County, but for the most part, it still extends from around Janesville to Whitewater up toward Jefferson and uh, perhaps up toward Beaver Dam as well in Dodge County. But most of Dane County right now is dry. We haven't had much rain in Madison and out to the west of Madison. It's pretty much stayed dry for much of the afternoon. The clouds came in, but the showers really started to develop as this weather system pushed just east of Madison. Uh, Doppler track shows this band of showers here, a break, and then the next area of showers starting to develop. But this should diminish a little bit as it pushes eastward because we start getting into the hours of darkness where temperatures start to cool off a little bit and the showers lose their instability. But six hour future track radar shows that you can't rule out at least an isolated shower over uh, areas west of Madison. But the better chances for rain, at least in the short term, are going to be over the eastern portion of the state out into Lake Michigan. The rainfall although the additional rainfall is not going to amount to very much. This is through early Saturday morning, and much of this is what's occurring right now. So about a quarter of an inch or a little bit more over east central Wisconsin, generally around a tenth of an inch or less west of Madison, east of Madison, maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. Three things you need to know. Look for the showers through tomorrow, and then another batch arrives Friday night into uh, Saturday. Uh, Saturday, a little more iffy. Uh, much of the day should be dry, but it'll be cooler this weekend. Highs middle set. Uh, 50s on Saturday and only lower 50s on Sunday. Nighttime low temperatures will drop into the middle 30s as skies start to clear out overnight. And then as we head into next week, another batch of showers arrives from Tuesday afternoon through Friday. But as we head into Friday night and Saturday, it may be cold enough for some flurries of snow to mix in with the showers of late Friday night into early Saturday morning with temperatures down closer to freezing. Future track beginning Friday morning shows showers off and on through much of the state during the day on Friday. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday look pretty wet. But as we get into Friday night and Saturday, the question is how fast the showers move out compared to how fast the cold air moves in. And you can see out to the west, at least, the possibility for some light snow over parts of northwestern Iowa. Whether or not these flurries can get into southern Wisconsin still remains to be seen, but it's something to watch. Planning your evening, look for temperatures in the mid-50s by uh, 10 p.m. as the first batch of showers moves out. Overnight, we'll have to see if another shower pops up, but I think much of the night will be dry with uh, maybe even some breaks in the clouds. But the clouds start moving back in tomorrow morning, and we'll see some more showers during tomorrow afternoon. Planning your night uh, across Dane County, look for a low of 47 in Mount Vernon, 48 in Marshall, and 49 in DeForest. And then uh, across the rest of southern Wisconsin, 49 in Janesville, 43 in Lone Rock, and 42 in Camp Douglas. Some breaks in the clouds overnight, especially north of Madison. Tomorrow, though, the clouds can move back in. It'll be cooler with a high of 59, and we'll see some scattered showers. But again, the rainfall amounts over the next couple of days favor eastern Wisconsin. The farther west you go, lesser the amounts of rain. As we look at the first warrant 7 to 10 day forecast, cool for the weekend, nighttime low temperatures, mid 30s. Then we're back up into the 60s by early next week, but shower chances start to arrive Tuesday afternoon. Showers are likely Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then as we turn colder for Friday night into Saturday, that's when we could see a few flakes of snow mixed in. I think most of the rain and snow showers will on Saturday morning. As we look at first warrant traffic, uh, the main highways around Dane County look pretty good. The Beltline right now, no problems there. Not even seeing a slowdown at the interstate. I-39, 90, 94 in pretty good shape. Right now, a 15-minute trip either way in the Beltline between University Avenue and I-39, 90. Uh, inbound from Sun Prairie to downtown takes you 18 minutes. That same trip in the outbound direction is a 20-minute uh, commute this afternoon. Westbound, uh, US-12 from Middleton to Sauk City is a 15-minute trip. And the Beltline to Janesville on I-39, 94, or 39, 90 takes you 24 minutes. It's, that's your news three now first one traffic all right thank you gary next at five teen drivers typically have a higher crash rate but a new report shows those numbers are dropping what's helping the decrease after the break news three now first warm weather is brought to you by lazy boy home furnishings and decor Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Updating your kitchen doesn't have to break the bank. Just call Mad City Kitchens. Cabinet refacing is the affordable alternative to a full kitchen remodel. Just look at the before and after difference. Plus, with Mad City's price lock guarantee, once you receive a free design consultation, we'll lock your price in and guarantee it for one year. As South Central Wisconsin's trusted interior remodeling experts, Mad City also offers custom bathing solutions such as walk-in showers. 
And listen to this. Now during our 606060 sale, receive 60% off installation of a new bath, shower, or a kitchen cabinet refacing project with 60 months 0% interest, senior and military discounts. Plus, call now during this program for a free $60 Amazon gift card with in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. It hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street Co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get 1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Teen drivers in the U.S. are at the highest risk of being involved in a deadly crash. But Donya Backus tells us about a new report that shows that risk is dropping. Teenagers were behind the wheel of these two pickup trucks when they crashed in Oklahoma 10 months ago. Police say one truck swerved into the other, leading to a collision that killed a passenger. Crashes with young drivers are common, but new data show signs of improvement. The study from the Governor's Highway Safety Association found fatal accidents involving drivers under 21 dropped 38 percent from 2002 to 2021. At the same time, deadly crashes among drivers 21 and older rose 8 percent. We were very, very surprised. Pam Shadel Fisher authored the report. We are absolutely encouraged by it, and we think we've been doing the right things to get there. Fisher says a major reason for the drop is changes to how teens get a license. Many states now have graduated driver's license laws. They restrict teens from driving at certain times alone, like late at night. They also can limit how many other young people are in the car without an adult. Some laws ban teens from using electronic devices while driving, even hands-free. Another possible factor, many teens are waiting to get a license. Earlier this year, we talked to Katherine Franklin, who waited until she was 18. I really was not interested in driving. I didn't really enjoy the idea of it. The goal we're trying to get to is zero, plain and simple. We don't want any young person to be injured or killed in a crash. Fisher believes more driving education programs and an expansion of graduated licenses can put young people on the road to fewer traffic deaths. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. And we have a final check of your first warrant forecast when we return. Attention South Central Wisconsin homeowners. Time is running out. This is your last chance to call during this program to take advantage of our 60-60-60 sale and save big on your new kitchen or bathroom. Remember, Mad City is your trusted interior remodeling expert specializing in modern kitchen cabinet refacing and custom walk-in shower solutions. If your kitchen needs a facelift or your bathroom needs a makeover, what are you waiting for? Give us a call and take advantage of this offer.
It's our 60-60-60 sale. Receive 60% off installation of a new bath, shower, or a kitchen cabinet refacing project with 60 months 0% interest, senior and military discounts, plus last chance to call during this program for a free $60 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Lately, we've all had to do more with less. At Chevy, we just want you to do more. So we continue to make affordable vehicles like high-tech SUVs, our most capable trucks, and the most affordable EV in America. It's how Chevy helps you do more for less. Or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $299 a month. Or get 2.9% financing on all 2024 Equinox models when you purchase. A great night's sleep starts on a new Tempur-Pedic from Steinhoffels. It's time to take your sleep to the next level with the Tempur-Pedic Ergo Smart Base powered by Sleep Tracker AI that automatically responds to snoring by raising your head, giving you a better, more restful night's sleep. And during Steinhoffels' anniversary sale, Ergo Smart Bases start at only $37 per month when you use Steinhoffels' 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. In 2007, we felt called to start a church right in our living room. We knew that in order for our church to grow, we were gonna have to get more wisdom in the area of financial planning. Thrive and helped us to get on solid footing so that we could take steps to help others. Now we spend more time helping our community. Every year, we're touching more and more lives with Thrive and Self. For over six decades, Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland has made wishes come true for everyone. Now through Wednesday, we're celebrating with great gifts at great prices throughout the store. Like this rechargeable LED work light, just $17.99. This Nerf 2.0 double punch blaster, only $29.99. And assorted Dots home style snacks, just $4.99 each. Plus, make your Blaine's Christmas wish list on the Farm and Fleet app for a chance to win up to $1,000. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Toyland, where wishes come true for everyone. Most of the rain has missed Madison so far. Just some far showers uh, out toward uh, Edgerton and uh, southeast of Stoughton, but still raining pretty steadily across much of Rock County from Janesville up toward Jefferson and Jefferson County, too. All right. Thanks for your help, Brady. Yeah, Have a good evening, everybody. Hope to see you back here tonight at 6.